Haley from OneOnRabbits.com and in today's video I am going to be doing another grooming video for you guys because the bunnies need to be groomed so so bad. Ebony and Lulu are shedding like horribly. Uh, Sterling is not shedding but all of their nails need to be clipped. Hi Milo. Do you want to have a grooming session? Do you want a little spa day? So, I'm gonna go ahead and get out all of my supplies and then get a bunny out here and start grooming, clipping nails, all of those things. I am not looking forward to it. I hate grooming um, just because it stresses the bunnies out and it's just not a fun activity, but it needs to be done. So, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start with Lulu. If you guys didn't know, she's my 11 year old bunny. So she is very old. She has a lot of arthritis and her back legs do not move properly. Because of that, she cannot groom herself anymore, which is why she basically always has all these little tufts of fur. Because if you guys didn't know, rabbits groom themselves very, very well. So when they're not able to groom themselves, they tend to look pretty crazy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start grooming her and getting as much of the fur off as I can. Um, I'm using the Furminator currently. A lot of people don't like the Furminator because they say it's not good for their fur. It tends to be very effective at getting it off quickly and without pain. And that's what I need with Lulu, especially because with arthritis, uh, she tends to have a lot of pain, like even if I touch her. So I want to make this as quick and as painless as possible. As you can see, it's already looking a lot better. Okay, now that I've gotten the majority of the fluff off, I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of the little tufts of fur and just lightly pluck them out. I wanna be very careful, like I'm barely using any pressure when I'm doing this. Uh, simply because she does have a lot of pain and I don't want this to make... Milo? Milo! Hey, uh-uh. Get away from the camera. Get. So now I'm just gonna quickly run the brush over her again just to get all of the leftover hair that is sitting on her fur from plucking stuff out. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use a different brush. Uh, this brush is called the Hair Buster, if you guys were curious. And it works really well, but it can be kind of harsh if you don't use it like this. Some people like will point it down. You have to put it exactly the way their fur is going. There we go. The next brush I'm using is this rubber curry comb. Um, everyone always asks me where I get it. It is not available anywhere. I got it in like an exclusive gift when I was like 11 years old. Um, so it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, but basically any rubber comb with these rubber bristles would work. It basically is a very gentle brush that just has makes the hair stick to it. It's a really nice brush just to get everything at the end of your grooming session off. Okay, so now that I'm done with that for now, I am going to go ahead and clip some of her fur. Now, I wouldn't do this probably on like a healthy rabbit or a rabbit that is young, but because she's older and she struggles grooming herself, I like to trim her butt fur just because it tends to be the fur that like, you know, is all fluffy and coming out like that. But I don't wanna pull it all out because that would be kind of painful for her. So I'm just gonna trim it really short so that when it does fall out, it's like, doesn't have as much to go. And I don't make it look pretty necessarily, um, but it works. She gets a lot of hay and litter stuck in her fur on her butt, so this makes it shorter, so that it's less likely to happen. There we go. I think I'm gonna clip her nails next. So what I use for that is, oh, I've got hair on my face. Uh, just uh, nail clippers. These are really cheap and, I don't know, effective. You just wanna make sure that they have the curved tip because otherwise it can crush the rabbit's nails. So it has to be curved. Oh, honey, I know. You're mad. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the flashlight and I'm gonna face it down like this. She is not happy. I know, baby girl. And her feet is where her arthritis is the worst. So this is gonna be difficult. You're okay. Ow, she bit me. Lulu, I know, this is painful. One paw down. <sighs> So it looks like she has quite a bit of sore hocks as well. Um, most likely that's coming from lack of mobility. Um, she's also always struggled with sore hocks just because of her conformation, the way her body is. She's always had chronic sore hocks. Um, so arthritis is definitely not helping. Her back feet actually aren't that bad. It's just her front paws have some of that sore hocks on it. There's a little red, really inflamed red um, front toes. And I bet that's because her back feet don't work very well. So she's compensating and putting it in the front. All right, now that we're done with the nails, we are going to do her bum. So if you guys didn't know, oh, by the way, I'm in pajamas. But if you guys didn't know, rabbits have scent glands on either side of their anus. Um, so we are going to clean those out, especially because Lulu cannot clean herself. Um, but first we are going to trim all of her butt hair. All right, now we've trimmed everything pretty short. We're going to grab a wet cotton pad and we're going to clean out the scent glands which hers are kind of bad because she cannot do any grooming herself. There we go. Now we're gonna do the other one. If you want an in-depth video on how to clean scent glands, I will leave it in the I card above uh, because obviously this is not the best how-to video. I'm just doing it real fast. Okay, so now that we've finished with that, the last thing I'm gonna do is quickly brush her just get every last bit off before I put her back. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do with Lulu, so I'll be back. I'm just gonna go put her away and clean up. All right, contestant number two, we have Sterling. He's not shedding that bad, um, so honestly, I don't think it's gonna take that long. Um, I did rinse off all these brushes just because I did use them on Lulu, and Lulu does not live with Sterling and Ebony, so. We are just gonna go ahead and brush him. I don't think he really needs this brush. He does not really shedding. As you can see, we got a tiny bit of fur off, but that's about it. So I'm gonna go through with this brush. All right, so now that we are done grooming him, we are gonna go ahead and clip his nails. So let's see the little chubby boy. One paw done, that was really good, buddy. Look at how cool of a boy you are. <laughs> He's not letting me see his toes. There we go. Whoops. So I did cut a little too close on that one. So what I do is I just grab a cotton pad and just hold it on the end of the nail. So you can use something called quick stop or flower to like stop the bleeding. Um, I only like to use that in severe cases because it does burn the rabbit when you put it on and I don't want them to experience any more pain than they have to. Um, so as long as I can just hold it until it stops bleeding, that's what I normally do. Obviously you try to avoid to cut the quick if possible, but sometimes it happens. Look at his squishy face. I barely, barely touched his quick. So his toe looks pretty good, so I'm just going to continue and just make sure it's still not bleeding by the time I put him away. 
but it looks like it clotted off, so it's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> grab a cotton swab and we are gonna do his scent glands. I'm hoping they're not too bad because he should be able to groom himself, but because he is technically a little bit overweight, sometimes he could struggle. And for those of you guys wondering if I'm doing anything for him being overweight, we did lower his veggie amount and uh, the vet is aware of it and the vet was having me do some things to help him with his being overweight. However, it kind of just came to the point where we tried everything and he's still overweight and it's hard with bunnies to like force them to exercise. Like with a dog, you can like take them on walks and stuff, but that's not really the case with bunnies. So I am gonna trim some of his fur that looks a little bit yellow down here, uh, just because that means he's having a little bit of difficulty cleaning the yellow areas. You're so fluffy, I can't see anything. Okay, so his scent glands are not bad at all. Um, what you're looking for is like nice, soft <laughs> stuff in the scent glands. Um, you don't want it all hard and crusty. Uh, Lulu's was crusty because she cannot clean herself. There you go. All done with that. Okay, now I have scent gland juice all over myself. And, <laughs> okay, we're done with him. All right, so I'll be right back with Ebony, if I can go catch her. There you go. She just picked up one of Sterling's nails, chewed on it, and spit it out. That is really gross. All right, so if you guys don't know Ebony, she um, has a lot of anxiety, which can turn into aggression. Brushing is one of her major triggers. So, so are cats, and Milo is staring at her. And sometimes I have to cover her head Otherwise she will try and bite me. Just checking on her fur while I'm doing it to make sure everything's nice and healthy. That's it for that brush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get anything else with the hair buster. You're okay. As you can see, she gets very upset. I'm gonna brush her real fast with this. So now we are gonna try to clip her nails. She is very upset, so I'm kind of afraid on how this is gonna go. But she has black nails, so definitely going to use the flashlight on her. So remember there are five nails in the front um, because they have a dew claw, uh, but there's only four in the back. So now we're gonna go ahead and try the back ones. There, all done. Now we just need your scent glands. Oh, I know, you want to bite me so bad. You are not happy with me. Oh, look at the munch candle, she's so cute. Even though you hate me, you hate me with all your guts. Oh, I guess hers are actually pretty bad. They are not moist at all. I actually just pulled that chunk out. That's why I highly recommend you do check your rabbit scent glands because even if they're healthy and you believe they can groom themselves great, they still can have stuff in there. So that's one side. The other side's all crusted shut too. See, another piece. There you go, all done. How do you think of that? You're like, I hate you. She does look really skinny um, now that I brushed her, but she's not underweight that I know of at all. But she looks really funky with her shedding pattern. I'll try to show you. Can you see that? <laughs> she actually has like whitish fur underneath the black. Also want to point out that this is why rabbits are not for children. They do not like to be held. This happened when I was putting Sterling back. He scratched me. Now I will say his claws are sharper after I just clip them, but yeah. So that's basically it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know a lot of people like watching my grooming videos, so I thought I would do another one. Even though they're kind of the same every time, I groom the bunnies, clip their nails, clean their scent glands. It's kind of what I do every time I groom them. Uh, don't forget to check out my online shop if you guys want any supplies or toys for your bunnies. Don't forget to check out the videos in the iCard as well at the end of the video. I have some more grooming videos like how to clip your rabbit nails, um, how to clean their scent glands, things like that that are more in depth if you guys need some tutorials. 
But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon on a new video. Bye!